again the weatherman was wrong <laughs> it's blowing again but at least we had the tide and the wind going in opposite directions so that helps tremendously okay I'm on my third pole Chad yeah yeah fourth pole still didn't get bit <laughs> Doubled up. Right there is what it's all about. It's missing half his tail. Do what? So it would be nice if you'd return the favor. Tell me to bring it. Back. <laughs> what jig are you using? The flat smasher. <laughs> It's not just for flax fishing, folks. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. No, folks, this is not a repeat. <laughs> I can't even. I got it. I can't you even got it tied on yet, right? No. Do you need the net? I'm not even gonna fish. <laughs> He shredded that thing. Not bait. My bait. Just somebody's bait. Folks, all, all we're doing is we're taking dead frozen thread fins, hooking them right in the I'm hooking them in the top of the head. But I haven't I haven't had a chance to fish because I've been filming Chad too much. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> When they rock you, huh? Is he? When they rock you like that, what you want to do is you want to release your bale and let some line out 
so they don't feel it because what happens is grouper when they when they get into their hole they flare their gills out and they stick themselves in that hole so you can either a do it like this and wait for them to swim out or b you can play you can get it really really tight and play it like a guitar string and they'll eat like that but most of the time i like to let it loose and just you, sometimes you wait them out i don't have a lot of patience i have some people that have been on this boat that have waited them out 10 to 15 minutes and caught them I just don't have that patience. Nope. I'm gonna try this one more time. All right, folks, what I want to talk about here, as you can see, there's a line right here. That's an indication of that, of this ledge that we're fishing. And you don't see, I'm, I'm not right on the ledge itself. As you can see, we can, we're going back and forth with the trolling motor, not by much, just by a few feet, but um, I'm just on the edge of it so we can work the outside of it. And as you'll see here, um, there's a show of fish right in here so we're working that farther edge you can see the kind of the edge of the ledge right there on the side imaging and then there's some hard bottom to our left over here you can see that right right in there the squiggly lines those are hard bottom so um, kind of that's what we're, we're looking at right here on this spot so if I really want to target hogfish, I don't necessarily get right on top of the ledge. I just kind of get off of it a little bit. And even when I'm targeting gags, I sometimes I don't like to be right on the ledge because what will happen is if you watch a lot of spear fish spear fishing videos like I do, because it gives me really good insight of what those fish are doing. When the diver first gets down, what happens is those gags and those red grouper and, and scamp grouper are all in the sand they're kind of away from the structure just kind of sitting off to the side watching observing and seeing what's going on and as soon as something starts happening they'll come over to investigate so what we'll do is that um, I don't necessarily will get right on the ledge with gags I'll try to get off of it just a little bit and we have a tendency to catch a lot of the gags just off the ledge so always remember that like the the spot we were fishing where we caught the, all of our gags today pretty much it was what are you doing fishing in my spot and catching my mackerel to but anyway so that's what i'm looking for when it comes to uh fishing these ledges if i'm definitely looking for hogfish i want to get off the ledge and not be right on top of it same with gags i kind of like to be off of it just a little bit but if i'm fishing for snapper and things like that i want to be more on that on that structure finally good job chadley you gave him yourself from yesterday Catfishing, rod in the rod holder, pick up the trash that fell out, picked it up, and we sit there. Hoggy hog. Hoggy doggy. You don't think it was on? Mm -hmm. Another one? Yep. yep. Hogfish king, folks. Fish on the same shrimp. Really? Chad, we're not flounder fishing. I know, right? Jeez. Well, you got me over some sand or something? Whatever. Let Before you chunk him, let me check the regulations one more time. Oh, 
it's open. Really? Yep, hold on a minute. Yeah, it's open. Folks, that's a great app to have. If you don't know all the rules or the rules change on you every single day, it seems like now, that fish apps rule, our uh, fish rules app is a perfect app to use to know and stay on top of what's in, what's out, what are the bag limits, things like that. Um, so we just wanted to make sure that flounder were in season and so they what's are. What's the limit after three o'clock on <laughs> December 27th? I don't know. It didn't say, it just said it was open. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that's one good thing to, to have on your phone. It's an app, so it does come out when you're offshore. It, you can pull it up. Um, so I highly recommend that. But yeah, that was a weird catch. Like, don't! Don't! He was on a good roll. <laughs> ah. And screen lit up. Let go. Get home before dark, Chad. Way to end it. <laughs> well, I gotta say that the bite in the morning was a little, little bit of a struggle. I think part of it was that we went to an area that we think that the red tide had been in, and it pushed these fish out of the area. We marked some really good bottom, but it just didn't happen. So we moved, went further south. And bam, we had a limit of our gags in about 10, not even 10 minutes. Yeah. What would you say? I, would, I mean, 10 minutes is probably safe because we had to retie a couple times. Yeah, but Chad caught three. I caught one of the keepers here. We let go, what, probably five or six? I would say so. Yeah, and then lost another probably five or six. You did. <laughs> But we caught hogfish, we caught mangrove snapper, we caught porgies, we caught flounder, we caught gag grouper, we caught red grouper. What else did we catch? Yeah. I think you covered it all. Yeah. Caught a cold. Caught a cold. <laughs> a couple of popsicles. Yep. Yeah. But anyway we had a great time we're fishing again tomorrow fishing again thursday and probably friday the winds finally lay down late today late on tuesday late they finally lay down so it's, it was a beautiful day in the afternoon the morning was bumpy real bumpy but we still got it done made it happen yep, made it happen again i just want to say thanks for watching we really the one you caught with the lip that I don't know. Stress his lip out about three feet. <laughs> Probably. Got a little mark. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.